If you've gotten a speed camera ticket in the last year, you are far from alone. Local governments across Maryland issued a staggering one and a half million speed camera tickets between July of 2016 and June of 2017. That's according to a new analysis from AAA. And Bruce LeShan reports almost 80% of those tickets were issued in Montgomery and Prince George's County. The AAA says nearly one third of all the speed cameras in the entire country are in Maryland. I think the speed cameras are too much. And the vast majority of the speed cameras in Maryland are in just two jurisdictions, Montgomery and Prince George's counties. Connecticut Avenue right here, three lanes, people are rolling, and then you, they want you to do 25, it ain't happening. Statewide, the fines in a single year added up to a staggering $62 million. Almost 50 million of that was in the D.C. suburbs. And if you drive in those two jurisdictions, you have a three times greater chance of getting a ticket. People were supposed to get wise to the cameras and slow down. But the AAA says the number of tickets those cameras are snapping has held fairly steady at about one and a half million tickets a year. That's almost five million tickets in the last three years and almost $200 million in fines. Well, there's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow too. It's good for the state, but I think it's, it's bad for the citizens and it's bad for the visitors. So I think something needs to be done. Montgomery County Police Captain Thomas Didone says that these cameras are paying off in the most precious currency. Human lives. Traffic deaths here used to average about 34 a year. In the last two years, that has been down to 26 and 27 human lives. In Chevy Chase, Maryland, Bruce LeShan, WUSA 9. Now, AAA supports the cameras, but they say some of them need tweaking, like the ones in school zones that flash five days a week, even on holidays and during the summer where there aren't very many students around. Cameras like that, a spokesman says, raise suspicion and undermine public support.